Like, Uggy's a, a human being. He would be hating that he's sitting there yeah. watching me and I'm out there wrestling Joey Ryan. He would hate it. But he won't tell anyone about it. That's why he has that rage, because he just keeps everything in. Then he gets in the ring and he unleashes, and he's a big dude. Like, he's doing something, man. But we can't let it stress, because at the end of the day, like, we just gotta, we gotta do us. Yeah. And half of that is getting in his head, and we are definitely in his head. Yeah, so. For him, the champ, he's just the belt at the moment. Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, I'm the champ right now. I just gotta have that around my waist. I'm taking over, man. It's kind of crazy being here at World Series. I went to the original World Series in 2005 and the best wrestling show I've ever been to was 2007. International Assault 2, UNSW Roundhouse. I loved Ring of Honor and I loved indie wrestling and I got to see Brian Danielson and Nigel McGuinness and Austin Aries and it was just the best. And I just went there as a fan and I sat in the front row and now I know that Robbie Eagles was, you know, the role across from me. Since World Series came back, I've helped out every show. I've rung the bell. Uh, I've watched out for merch during an admission, and and now I'm I'm here, and it's it's kind of surreal being around guys like you know Bandito and SCU and Marty Skrull and Joey Ryan, who I who I wrestled last night, who I tapped out last night. <laughs> Everything's coming really quickly at the moment, and it's, it's it's very fun. I think going into the match, you don't really think somebody's going to have that kind of uh, finish, you know, submission. Uh, so it does catch you off guard, you know. Somebody who's more flashy, somebody who's more character driven. Normally, they don't they don't settle into having uh, a submission move they do. So it does catch you off guard a little bit because you're not really expecting it. Maddie is definitely a cut above the norm. Well, like they're, they're few and far between, I'll give you that. There's not a lot, it's not like every rookie that comes through has this much potential. Like usually it's it's a select few that come in that have the kind of stuff that people like Maddie bring. I never thought that I was gonna be in the ring, and I don't know why, like I loved competing, I loved sport, I was always playing sport, I was doing MMA, but wrestling was always my, my outlet. Like it was the fun aspect that I could just sit at home and watch, and then one day I just wanted to try it out, and I just wish I had started earlier, but. I don't think anybody has come along and been this good this quickly um, as Matty Wahlberg. Like, the only comparable thing I could think of is maybe like Ricky South. Um, but Matty's really just, at this point in time, he's just head and shoulders above everybody. It's, it's ridiculous how good Matt is. This was my goal. The start of the year, my two goals were to main event PWA and to work World Series. And it's barely March and I've already achieved both of those things. So my goals are changing now, but being here, I, I knew I was going to be here sooner rather than later. Be honest, be honest. No one's got merch game like the babes. Check out that. Fresh babe. Get them customised too. Can you turn it down a little bit? Sorry, um, I apologise for having fun at this, this, this public event. I'll try and be boring like this. Alright, mate. That's it. Wait, remember when I tapped out Robbie Eagles? <laughs> I remember. I remember. I remember. You still tap, bro. It's actually very frustrating because uh, he's such an arrogant prick, but he's so good that like he's never been caught out on it. He's never like he's never been an arrogant prick and then fallen on his ass and made to look stupid. How fresh is the shirt though? Be honest, check out that. Imagine wearing a shirt saying calling Aga Pussy and he still has done nothing. It's open to the public, bro. Like a lot of our. <laughs> situations Maddie has sort of talked us into a situation um, last night he had Joey Ryan and you know Maddie's got a bit of a mouth he walks the walk and talks the talk so we just know that we've got a microphone for a little while so whatever happens after that is completely completely organic I would say I mean if there's a show full of like Brian Cage and Joey Ryan and people leave talking about the babes and you know you made a bit of an impact. I've been to Australia, this is probably my ninth or tenth time that I've been to Australia, uh, fifth time with World Series Wrestling. Uh, and what I noticed is that when the first tour we did, a lot of the headlining uh, matches were featured the outsiders, the flying talent, the, the, the big names. But I feel like 
the more tours we've done, the more the Australian wrestlers have really like presented themselves as being capable of main eventing these shows and being able to to, to lead the way and you know let us compliment them instead of them, them tagging along with us. Tonight's so hugely important because the guys that are here and the opportunities World Series give you is you're competing against the best in the world. It's not like the Aussies are just thrown in as a dark match or you know have to wrestle each other. Like we're put up against them and it's not just big for me. It's big for all of us to show that we can compete on a, on a world stage. And last night, I, I really feel I did that. And I think that's really cool because I think that really shows uh, how the scene is growing and how Australia has become a hotbed for professional wrestling. Tonight is just as important because we want to keep proving that as Aussie wrestlers, we are just as good as anyone. When you're in a locker room with these names, that you've got to try and bring yourself up to that level and live up to the expectations that they think when they come here. So you got to think more like that we're all peers rather than right, they're the guys that I watch. Or they're the internationals. Like they're coming up here. They're coming to be with us. So hopefully we can hold up and put on a show. Oi, let's do it. Let's finish it now. That's a pop. That's our boy. See. Crazy when our guys match their reaction. Now we conquer, bro! Yeah. The Babes was my initial opportunity. Like Harley Wonderland asked me to come and help her out and join it, and that was my first time on shows, and I owe her a lot. And I guess being able to come out with them and come out with Carter, who's like a brother to me, is, is a really fun experience. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing it with people I care about. I'm just hoping Carter's ready to go too. The last few shows, you know, I, I've been pinned by two people in PWA. Caveman Ugg in my first match, and Juno Gambino, the MCW champ. Other than that, I've never been pinned. Every tag match, I've never been pinned. So, you can read from that what you want. What if he has a dick not book? That doesn't make any sense, that's a shit joke. Get this, make sure all this, like, Carter Deems the less funny, less handsome version of me. Good comeback too. <laughs> He's quick. He is quick. I'd, I'd say he deserves it. I don't really feel feel like left behind or anything. I just know that he's gonna like he's gonna kill it. Like I, he's just he's the he's the guy right now, and he's pretty hell bent on proving to everyone that he's the guy. So I 100% support him. I support every decision that he will that he will make. Sometimes I think, you know, wrestling can be a very selfish business. Like at the end of the day, you really do have to look out for yourself. And at times, maybe I haven't been as focused on, on Carter as I need to be. And I don't want to sound bitter, like a loss is a loss, you copy, you take it on the chin. But, you know, that ugly distraction the other week, like he got pulled out, left me alone. You know, last year he left for three months real quick once he got that Farley Dojo opportunity. He didn't hang around. For a little while, I just think, there's been something in Maddie's brain, and maybe it was me going away, because I know when I went away, everyone was talking about me. Like, I blew up. As much as we love each other, if opportunities present themselves, we are, we are individuals too. Maybe it was a jealousy thing, and maybe he just wanted to prove that he was on that level as well, so. Me beating Arg, it's not just for me. Like, that's big for him. That's big for the babes. That's big for Australian wrestling, because I need to be the face. Something's clicked in his brain where He's 100% focused on just like making him better. Like for Australian wrestling to go that little bit further, they need they need me to be at the head. They need me to be at the top. We would have won those matches with like a, with Matty Wahlberg at 100%. It's just not the way it went those days. But I think he thinks I'm being selfish. But that's just him being young. If we both 100% get into that ring together, we'll we'll take anyone. But he's just got that thing as I said he's like obsessing over Arg. he's obsessing over that singles gimmick when he says he wants to take over like that's all he thinks about and I just proved last night I can beat Joey Ryan so if Joey Ryan pins me now like that's that's gonna frustrate me a bit but at the end of the day the goal's the same there's nothing that can happen tonight that's gonna take away my opportunity against Arg. so full focus is, is is realistically on tonight but once that match finishes that is my last match before Arg. boom <laughs> I'm gonna have
get away. That's okay. Yeah, you wouldn't be. Uh, yeah, this sucks. I can still move it. It's all fine. Like it's just, it's just sore. It's just wrestling. Like you never go into a match 100% anyway. So it's just about how you make it as close to 100% as possible. You guys have the advantage when you're arguing, you don't wrestle. You wrestle like once every two months. That makes your life easy, doesn't it? You brought me up yesterday. Okay, he's still back massage. Oh, is he now? I can't even feel my foot anymore. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I know about Wahlberg is like come bell time, he's 100%. Whether he is or not, he will pretend to be. Are you worried about him? Um, yeah, I am. He's like a brother, so he talks himself into these situations. Like, I'm just a scary guy. And like, if it's not I, like, who's he going to go after next? You know what I mean? I'm like worried about where his future goes. Wahlberg's like, ugh, ugh, ugh at the moment. And, I don't think he's got that much time for like the tag wrestling, so maybe, maybe like he just needs to do that thing. Man. I don't know. I don't know. Oi, oi, Frank Uggsy. Here. Yeah. Where? Up in the seat up top. Wait, let's go. No, he he puts on a chair. It'll be funny. You're not gonna do it. Nah, we are. We're going. You can stay here. Your foot is in ice. Because like, I wrestle, he's not wrestling, so let's go play. Come on, let's go. Dude, nah, I'm gone. inside Ugg's head, it does give him an advantage because Ugg will get mad and lose control and I know firsthand that when you when you piss someone off in the ring, they lose concentration, they lose focus. It works, but the problem is if you piss off Ugg and he gets his hips on you, you're fucked. <laughs> to put it quite simply. Matty's downfall is his arrogance. Even though he is taking Ugg very seriously, I think he's going to be too cocky. He just he doesn't know what he's in for. Hey man, I'll smack you too, I don't care bro. I'm not stressed about any of you, you're all talk anyway. I'll take each one. You can't get it. You can't I'll get take it. you, then I'll take Wait, it. I'll you can't get it. You can't get it, you can't get it on, man. Hey, hey, have you ever been to a gym in your life? Don't talk to me bro. Bistro's that way, big fella. Dude. I love it. You can't just, you can't. Do 
that, that shit. Dude, Why? Your fucking ankles in oil. Yes, bro. Your ankles in oil. What is it? He's stressing, man. Look at him. I'm, not, I'm, str- I'm worried about you. Yes. I'm worried about you. Your legs in ice. The foot's fine, bro. You hobbled 100 meters <laughs> to pose the biggest thing. I can't oh. wait. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. It's so fun. You're gonna make a mess. What are you doing? Eventually. You're gonna make a mess eventually. <laughs> There's gonna be a mess. <laughs> oh, baby. He does nothing, man. Everyone talks about how big a bad is. What does he do? He sits there. He's okay. watching. Did he come down? No, he didn't come he, down. He beat General Rob. Man, yeah, man. That was fun, though, to be honest. Well, I mean, it's always. Fuck, <laughs> man. What are you doing out there? Fuck. <laughs> Giving the people a show, man. Oh. I hate you sometimes. <laughs> hey, everyone hates I me, man. I fucking bro. hate you sometimes. And then who else is doing that? Honestly. Not, seriously. Be honest, no, no, no. Everyone talks about being the future. I know what you mean. We got Paris, Ricky, Lucci, all these good dudes. Yeah. But they're so worried about being the future, they're not worried about, I'll take it. I'm the now. I know. Who's doing that? You're the No guy. one's poked. Seriously. Oh, man. Ah. You're the guy my mum warned me not to hang out with in high school, and I end up hanging out with him all the fucking time. Do you want him by his side when you take him out? Of course, of course I do. He should always be there. I want him to. I want him to see the level he needs to get to too, and he'll get there. He's real close. Ah! <laughs> oh. And you, you guys are here. See, you follow me, so now it's proof. I did it last night. I did it tonight. I'm not doing it for the camera. This isn't for the camera. This is real. I fucking hate Ugg. I'm so ready. I want that belt. Ah! Yeah, the baby. Yeah, the baby. <laughs> oh! Do you think this might be the first time he gets to try when he's done? I'm like literally wearing a shirt calling him a pussy. I'm yelling at him as loud as I can. And he just, oh, 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 like barks like a dog. Like, man, you're not a dog. It's coming across very one-sided. Matt's talking a lot of crap. He's saying stuff. He's calling him out in public once he has to stand across him in the ring. I think he's going to be in some trouble. <laughs> do something. Come on. Do something. I'm be- like, I'm begging him to do something. He won't do nothing. I don't think he realizes how strong Bug is. I'm not even, like, he's not stressing me at all. I think Maddie's gonna come in with everything that he's got, but I think he's gonna slip. That's what it is. Everyone thinks it's just me talking shit. It's a game. I'm in his head. Hugs, hugs him now. He's gonna come in, he's gonna wanna hit me so hard. I think the inexperience is gonna catch him, and it's gonna take one second. And then he's just gonna straight under, boom, re naked. Like, he can he can have all the technique, he can have all the triangle chokes, and his, and his little strikes, and his dead his jab, and stuff like that. I've got no fear. I have no fear. I will put him down, and I don't think he'll come back from it. I'm not going to walk in there and beat him in 20 seconds. He's going to beat me, man. He's going to beat me up. I don't think he has any chance to get done. Mm. I was going to kill him. Mm. But then, all I need is that one second where he stops paying attention. But, I've been wrong before. No, that's that stuff, man. Last few matches went 20 seconds. Kind of like your love life, big dog. Oh, I need a beer.